Bald-faced hornets. Technically members of the wasp family, they are anatomically the same as yellow jackets, but they're not yellow, so we call them bald-faced hornets in North America, where they are native. These are generally considered the most aggressive species of stinging insect that we have in North America. Uh, their nests top out around 5,000 uh, hornets in the nest by the end of their season. This specimen is one of the most populated specimens I've come across. So you've seen some of my videos where there were some larger nests. Uh, those stovepipe nests that I get are generally larger. But those don't actually have as many hornets in them as something like this does. The reason being, you know, a lot of times they can't adhere the comb in those to the, the backside, whatever they're building on. Usually the stovepipe nests come when they're building on metal. However, on one like this, uh, this adhered well, and the queen just built a massive nest. Now, early in the video here, you can't really get a true gauge of its size, but this was bigger than a human head. Uh, you'll see towards the end of the video where I pick it up just to show you how large it is in comparison to a human. Now, I'm right around six foot, uh, so you'll get to see truly how large it is. So, even though those stovepipe nests are physically larger, uh, this one has a lot more hornets in it. And as a result, you know, your, your danger is higher. You can see how they're attacking the camera. I have that camera sitting probably about 20 feet away from the nest. But uh, they saw that foreign object there within striking distance, and they came and started attacking. So, you know, that's what's sort of consistent about these bald-faced hornets. They're just constantly attacking, attacking, attacking. So, because of that, you can see me using some liquid pesticide here. That's some bifenthrin. And, uh, you know, typically I just use the dust, take the nest down, and then put the liquid behind at the end. Um, but whenever you have this many hornets uh, in a nest, I do like to use the liquid just to get some knockdown power. Now, the video can't really show that, so you can't really appreciate the knockdown power of the liquid. That's just because there's so many hornets there. Um, but, you know, it will take out enough of them to where you can get in and do your job. And so now that I've dusted the inside of the nest and I've sprayed it to try and get some of them knocked out of the air, you can see me knocking it down here. So some people will dust them and come back a few days later. Um, but really, you know, as long as you have the right technique, you can do it all in one go. So, you know, I'm a working professional. We run about 1,100 calls a year uh, doing what I do. I personally run probably 700 of those. And uh, so I have to be able to be as efficient as possible while not sacrificing effectiveness on this job. Uh, you know, if our recall rate is too high, because we do guarantee our work, our recall rate's too high, you know, it just doesn't make it feasible. So what we do, you know, you dust the inside of the nest, that gets the queen and all, you know, as many workers as you can get, because every worker that's outside is one that could potentially start building somewhere else. So you dust the inside of the nest at the start, then you knock it down, and then I leave this coating of my fentrin behind. And, you know, the ones out getting food or the ones you see on camera flying here, you can already see how it's taking its effect. There's a lot fewer on camera now than there were at the beginning of the video already. And they were just three minutes and 40 seconds into it. Um, you know, you want to try and eliminate as many of those as possible. So you, you put the powder at the start, and then you knock it down, and that takes away the eggs. By taking away the eggs, they won't be able to regenerate a nest and keep it going for more than a few weeks. Now, sometimes, you know, you'll get some workers who start to build in a little bit of a different spot. And on this job, I actually got a recall on it. They started building on that lower ledge that you saw in video there. And that's about the only time you have that happen is when they start building just next to where they had originally built. Um, but, uh, you know, as long as you leave enough of the pesticide behind at the end, it does a pretty good job on them. So, you know, it keeps my recall rate down below 10% on the nest like this. I haven't actually calculated it. It's got to be... It, I get fewer recalls than average on these ones. But, uh, yeah, so here you see that nest laying down in the ground. And uh, in just a few seconds, you'll see me coming over to pick it up and show you just how massive this nest is. Now, this is one where I couldn't quite uh, fit it into my garbage, into my grocery bags like I typically like to do. So I had to use a full-on garbage bag. So here you see, you see how big that is compared to my torso. I'm a, you know, I'm a 250-pound guy. I'm not a small guy. 
and uh, so that came up pretty close to my torso. So that just shows how massive this one was. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe for more like this. Thank you very much.